Hi guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another polymer clay earring video. This is another video in our artist spotlight series where I am showcasing polymer clay artists from all over. They are sharing with you tutorials on their favorite tips, tricks, and techniques for some really special and unique earrings. And I'm so grateful that they were willing to take time out of their busy schedules to create these videos for you today. So in order to show our support, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, visit them on their social media and websites. I'll have everything linked in the description box down below, as well as on the screen here as we talk about them in just a bit. I'm so excited to introduce this artist to you today, so let's dive right in. All right, we are welcoming back Brittany from Brit's Jewelry Shop. You can check her out on her website, her Facebook group, and her Instagram. She's a very talented artist, and I am so excited and happy that she's agreed to do another tutorial for you guys. Today, she's going to be showing you a really fun granite technique using some glitter and some chopped up baked clay. It's pretty cool, and I think you guys are gonna like it, so let's get into the video. Hello, my name is Brittany. Thank you, Kristen, for featuring me on your YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really fun earrings. To get started, we're going to get the clay ready. So I'm going to create my own granite look. And what I did was I just took a piece of black clay and rolled it out flat, and I baked this in the oven for only 10 minutes at 275. So now I'm going to chop up little pieces of it. We're going to add that to the clay. All right. And I'm also going to add some black glitter and silver to this. Just mix it all up. Okay, I'm actually going to roll this through my pasta machine a few times and get it conditioned a little bit more. Interrupting this video for one quick minute just to make sure that you know about all the amazing resources that we have for you over in our Etsy shop for polymer clay artists. So the first one is the complete guide to polymer clay earrings. This is a step-by-step -step guide. All the details of the best clays to use, conditioning your clay, baking your clay, literally everything is in this ebook, more than we can cover in videos and things like that um, just because there's a ton of it. Um, a huge resource list with links and that sort of thing. So that's over in the Etsy shop. Another thing is the Getting Started on Etsy book. It's a complete guide to getting started on Etsy. So if you're just starting out and you're interested in selling your polymer clay earrings, this is a great resource for you to be able to hit the ground running, get those items listed, and hopefully start making sales. Another one is our brand new product photography ebook. This one is huge if you're selling online. Your product photos need to stand out and be bright and beautiful. And sometimes that can be a little bit tricky if you don't have much experience. So this product photography ebook will walk you through the steps of getting fantastic photos with, um, you know, not super expensive equipment and things like that. Just little tricks and things that you can use to get the best photos possible. And lastly, we have polymer clay color recipes. So I have tons of kits over there with a huge variety of colors. I have a fall one that's out now, a Christmas one. Um, we've got pinks, purples, one with just like a wide variety. So those recipes tell you exactly what colors to blend together to make whatever color it is that you're looking for. So that's also a great resource for polymer clay artists. All right, I'm done with a little advertisement in this video. I hope you'll check us out on Etsy. The link will be in the description box down below and we are at etsy.com slash shop slash dashing and dainty. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, and this is what my slab looks like. I think it turned out pretty neat. It's going to make some cool earrings. And I also have black that I've already conditioned and it's ready to go. 
I got this metal cutter from Amazon and I think it makes really cute earrings. So I'm gonna do a pair with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cutter and then place this exactly where I want it to go on the earring. And then you wanna push down, not too hard, but apply gentle pressure. Try this one more time. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to create some more earrings using this cutter. And I'm actually going to use this for the white slab and also the black and I'm going to connect the two after they're done baking. All right, now I'm going to bake these and then I would be I'll come back and and get them ready to be assembled. Okay, now that my pieces have completely cooled off, I'm going to drill holes in and sand them down and get them assembled. are these? I think they turned out really, really cute. Please leave a comment down below on what you think of these earrings. I am going to attach the post on the back of these real fast. And I like to use the Loctite super glue. And I usually leave these for a few hours to dry completely before I mess with them again. They are all, all finished up now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please like and comment on this video. And subscribe to Kristen's channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much, Kristen, for having me. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Again, check out the artist's website and social media and show your support. Thanks for watching this video today and we will see you in our next one. Bye.